Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The content yesterday on this game was nothing too crazy with 82 plus packs of the pace, dribbling, and passing variety. And since that was not too crazy of content for this game, no preview packs in the store, nothing to make people really panic sell, a lot of prices went higher. And that was something that we talked about in yesterday's video about if the content this week was scaled back, lackluster, not as hype as it was in weeks past, or specifically last week, then we probably would see these prices maintain a higher range on this game and that is exactly what happened so i want to talk about what happened yesterday again with the market as everything was it's another quiet day right it was really just an, another quiet day a lot of people went out and bought up adidas cards cards that are in this week's team of the week and your out of packs cards and your, your golds maintained a high price because there was nothing really yesterday to drag them down a little bit now there is a those brand new 82 plus upgrade packs that I want to talk about as well. And maybe even as we head into today, is this kind of trend going to continue? And talk about where I could see the market headed today and tomorrow. Usually with like Monday night, Monday into Tuesday, when we have these slower weeks like this, if you guys remember like the second week of Road to the Knockout was kind of slow, when we see kind of the peak of these cards. A lot of things went crazy yesterday on the market after that weekend league rewards period. And there were plenty, plenty of opportunities to make coins yesterday uh, on this game. Now, let's let's talk about it again. Why did some prices like either maintain or even go crazy high yesterday on this game? Now, object and card number one is Di Maria Adidas, right? These cards are really rare. These Adidas cards are so rare. And if there are no or very few preview packs that are released from now until the end of this week, this Team of the Week 8 and these Adidas cards are going to be pretty rare, which a lot of people bought them up yesterday, whether it was Team of the Week investors uh, for these cards from Team of the Week 8 to, to buy them for their teams, or uh, people trying out Adidas cards. Look at Neymar. Neymar was 1.27, 1.28 yesterday, rebounded up to 1.38 at his highest, right now sitting at 1.35. That was the story of yesterday. There was a little bit of panic selling heading into 6 p.m. UK on Monday. Of course, the base icon pack was going away. We weren't sure if it was going to get re-upped, but of course, that did not happen, and all we had yesterday were the brand new packs, like the 82 Plus, and I want to talk about those in a bit because those are very interesting. But again, that content alone was definitely not enough to make the market scared to go out and sell cards for their teams. It, it was basically the exact opposite. Take a look at Di Maria, right? At rewards, he was 290. Rose up to about 315 right before content. Content was released. He was 310,000 coins. He exploded to 360, 370, kind of came back down to 330 where he is now after all of that. But that's what we see on days like this where there's not that much content, especially, especially earlier on in the week or kind of the first couple of days that, that does happen. Same thing happened with Militao, right? I was able to snag a Militao for 405 yesterday right at the content drop. It was like right here, 405, I bought one. I sold it at 437 because of course, people again saw that there was not a lot of content, went out, they bought cards to try, or uh, to maybe invest in. Now, I'm gonna talk about a couple areas of the market that are very, very inflated at the moment as well. Ones to watches and road to the knockouts are very inflated. But with these cards that went up yesterday, specifically like some of these gold cards, right? Varane's 180K, Conte 323, Marquinhos is almost back to 100, Kempembe almost back to 40,000 coins. And, uh, you know, some of these gold cards, Hakimi 70K, Mane 148. These guys that are definitely going to be in packs over the next week, the cards that we expect to see panic selling on as we head into Black Friday. Again, I think as we've been talking about it the past couple of days, but EA is just really presenting us with what I think is going to be a solid window here to get out on some of these cards. And I think after today on Tuesday, you will start to see these prices start to decline for sure. Because as we know, right, Wednesdays at 6 p.m., if, if not before, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. is when people start to sell cards. And I think it's going to be a time period where people maybe start to go untradeable. Now, for today, Tuesday on content, content-wise, are we expecting preview packs? I mean, I think people are kind of getting used to how the content has been. There might not be as much sell-off today on Tuesday unless we get some more information about a preview pack that would be coming. But I don't know if they're going to release preview packs, right? When they do these slow weeks of content like this, it seems like a lot of time some of the best trading market fluctuations that you see are cards that get low right before the content drop and then uh you know bounce up right after content 
because there's really not that much going on in the game. And that was exactly the case yesterday. Now, could that happen again today on Tuesday? Absolutely, but you're gonna have to find some cards that get sold off a lot. Like the, the fluctuations that you saw today, like with Neymar and the Team of the Week cards, uh, like the Kloss, the Nkunku, up over 10,000 coins, Goretzka, 200,000 coins, the fluctuations that you saw on those cards, the bounce back that you saw after 6 p.m. content, I don't expect to see those same sort of bounces today on Tuesday because people went out and wanted to try cards. They did it yesterday, right? They did it on Monday. We're getting further into the week. There's more stuff going on. More people are talking about Mbappe team of the week, um, you know, and people are getting their games played before we head into the rivals section of this week. So unless there's a specific card, maybe an icon or two that there is some panic selling on today into Tuesday, 6 p.m., or an out of packs card, or maybe one of the Adidas cards if people are expecting preview packs, that would be. I wouldn't expect as big of a rise, but if it, there is a decent drop off, you could look for another one of those fluctuations that happened today. Uh, again, another example is Joao Felix. Joao Felix, the new Adidas card. There's hype because these these cards, people are trying them out. Joao Felix went from 790,000 coins all the way up over 850k. Right now, he's around 830, 840. So, I mean, I don't think you're going to see as an insane of a bounce back today on Tuesday as you would have yesterday, but. I just kind of wanted to explain again why the market did what it did yesterday. So if you got involved with any of those profits, again, I flipped a Militao, flipped an Icon yesterday. I bought a Lom at 1.2 flat, sold it at 1.31. A couple of these other trades are from overnight. Uh, a one flipped Regulon, and I have an Icon right now on my transfer list in the baby Mateus that I'm going to relist back up here in a second and try to get a like a 20, 30K profit, 20K profit on, I believe that is. So um, that's kind of what I'll be looking at right now. Again, it, sometimes it feels like in the market when it's like this, when everything is high and it's, in, you know, it's, it's up in price. It's like, what can you really do? But there's actually a lot that you can do. You can sell chemistry style trade and these cards that fluctuate that are pretty rare. Like this Yunman Sun right now is up at 790,000 coins. He was actually like 730 or 720 at one point yesterday. Um, and you know, now he's back up at 787.90. So when the market is high like this, you can absolutely fluctuation trade. And I wanna draw your attention to part of the market right now that is super inflated because this is something that I wanna point out as well. As we're heading into a crazy time of Black Friday and a crazy time of panic selling and people selling their investments because they wanna get coins to participate with content, you have a lot of cards uh, that get forgotten about that are live cards that will be upgrading, that will be investments or that are investments or have been investments that will get sold off. Now we saw this last week with ones to watches and with road to the knockouts. Those prices dropped off a decent amount because people were so worried about the preview packs, about the rule breakers promo and the icon SBC. Now this week with the market really slowing down, some of these prices are absolutely exploding. Take a look at this Oop Meccano, 310,000 coins right now. Basically, since Friday, when the content was not so good, this Upa Meccano has gone up almost 100,000 coins. The reason why this Upa has gone up is because links to the potential Subitzer, who could be in Team of the Week this week, and also people are starting to invest in these cards that are going to potentially get wins to watch upgrades in the next, uh, basically when international break is over. So this next upcoming weekend, if I can find Upa Meccano on this list, on Footbin of the live cards and their, their upgrades, or even if, yeah, so Ubmakano's right here. Bayern are on four wins. And on the 19th, they play FC Augsburg. That would be the fifth win that he needs to get his wins to watch upgrade, which is also, uh, it kind of plays into why you see Sabitzer up in price a lot right now. Sabitzer is 42,000 coins after being 30,000 coins, basically uh, when the weekend started. On Friday, 31,000 coins, he's up at 42, 45K basically at the moment. Again, the reason why these cards are up are because they're getting close to their wins to watch upgrade, but this is what I want you to kind of learn from this, right? I know some of you guys might be making coins on these ones to watches or road to the knockout cards that are up a lot right now. Like Tap Soba was like 45,000 coins. Now he's 57K. I mean, this guy even went up yesterday, right? Yesterday he was 48,000 coins. People started buying this stuff up, right? He's 56K. What happens is when content gets quiet and content kind of gets pulled back a lot of people look for places to trade they look for places to invest and when there's a, not a lot of hype and interaction going on they go 
to the live cards. And especially since we have um, road to the final games or road to the knockout cards in their games, Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League games a week from now, people are already starting to look towards these road to the knockouts and the ones to watches for their games this coming weekend for their club teams and starting to think about you know buying up these players for those upgrades that could be coming. That is the pure driving force behind these prices driving up so much and rising so much in the past weekend or even in the in, since yesterday right again we looked at some of these cards like i mean robertson 245 that is up this this hamari Traore, 41,000 coins he was literally 31k on sunday he's up 10,000 coins again he's expected to get the upgrade they're expected to win their next game in the conference league so these prices going up so much right now are off purely investing now you might be asking me nate is it too late can I get in on some of these cards? And to be completely honest with you, there's maybe a couple of them. There's maybe a couple of them that you could still get in on. Uh, basically, the ones that have gotten invested in the most are the ones that could be getting the double upgrade. So if we go back to our dynamic players here and click on Road to the Knockouts, I'm going to do a Control F search for Treore. Um, Treore, T boom, there he is, Hamari Treore. So again, he is two out of three wins at the moment. They play next week, 10 days from now, they play Vitesse, right? Which I, you would think that they would be able to win that game and Stad Rene would get the third win, which would mean he might get the double upgrade because right now, the way that the Conference League works, only the top team gets out of the group stages and Spurs, <laughs> it's not looking likely. If, if that fact is correct, I'm pretty sure it's only the top team of the Conference League moves on and gets out. Um, of that competition into the, the knockout rounds, then, you know, he's getting his third win. Regardless, he's getting an upgrade, but it would potentially be a double upgrade. So his card would go from an 84 to an 86, then to an 87. The same thing with the man that we were just looking at, the center back that I forgot his name now, the beast center back. How am I forgetting his name? Tapsoba. Tapsoba. The same thing with Tapsoba, right? They're looking really good to get an, another win against Celtic and then an, another win after that against uh, Budapest. And he's looking really good for a double upgrade. He would also go to an 87. They are on one of three wins, but since they beat Real Batiste, that was the hard game last week, it's looking like he's going to get upgraded. And that double upgrade is pushing people to invest in that card. Uh, another one, Diop is up. They play SK Rapid Wine and then Dinamo Zagreb, their next two games. So people are investing these car in these cards for the potential upgrades. Uh, Gravenberch is another one. This guy has absolutely flown 45,000 coins. They've absolutely exploded. Again, people are investing in this stuff right now because there is nothing else to do on this game and they're investing for the potential upgrades. So there can absolutely be trading opportunities with these cards because right now, as they are so hyped, as these investments are so hyped up and as so many people are looking at them and buying them, basically, if there's any point and period of panic over the next couple of days, maybe even today on Tuesday, if EA were to release some sort of preview pack, right, that would get some people thinking. That would get some people probably selling these cards on the game a little bit because these cards are purely up in price because of investment, right? It's purely because of investment, because of that potential upgrade that they could be getting. That's why these guys are up in price. So you could definitely watch these cards for fluctuations over the next couple of days and for potential movements on the market. Uh, you know, especially if there's some content that comes out that maybe takes some people's eyes away from this. Like if they were to drop, you know, some sort of SBC that would just bring hype to other places on the market, this Lukaku 363, at the moment, what is, what, what's his next cheapest card? He's like 370. So like these cards are so rare and that makes them incredible to trade with. But if some people start to sell them, right? I was even, we even talked about this like last week. I was like, man, with this Icon SBC that is going around, we were looking at Konate at 20,000 coins. And right now he's like 28, 29K. So he, he's definitely rose up just from the wins to watch upgrade potential that this card has. Again, with panic selling in the next week, we're gonna talk about these cards more as we head into Black Friday, but seriously, keep an eye on these ones to watches and road to the knockouts, even though some of their games will be played before Black Friday, as we enter in this weekend of a lot of panic selling and a lot of people worrying about supply and stuff that's gonna be happening on the market uh, in the next week, I would really watch out for those cards because those are going to be great places. They're very rare cards. Most of them should not be supplied again unless instead of best of team of the week, EA were to drop some other special cards and packs. We'll talk about that potential uh, in a future video as well, kind of talking about 
Black Friday and, and best of team of the week and other things that are released around the Black Friday timeframe. So we'll keep that in mind, but a lot of these cards are not gonna get supplied again. Uh, so it's just basically people are investing in them for that upgrade and they're rare, right? They've been out of packs for a while and you know, they're, everybody's getting hyped about them and they're a very popular investment because it's very easy to buy them and people have profited off them so much already this year. That's why you see their prices moving like crazy on this market right now. And it helps that the content is really, really quiet at this point in time in the game. So I just wanted to point that out as well. Now let's talk about the upgrade packs a little bit. The packs that we had yesterday, they're very interesting. Very, very interesting, these upgrade packs for the market. Now they're not that expensive. They are not that expensive, but they're interesting in the fact that we've never had upgrade packs like this before where it's a rating based on the card. 82 pace guaranteed, 82 passing guaranteed, 82 dribbling guaranteed. Now, what we did yesterday live on stream is we went into the fine details. How many players in FIFA have an 82 plus dribbling or higher? Again, these are just rare golds, right? So when we saw these guys in the pack code, we were like, are they, we gonna get bronzes and silvers from this? No, it is just rare golds. If you do some digging, the best value out of these three packs right here, the number one value is the 82 passing. 82 plus passing guaranteed. Now I know it makes no sense because you have to turn in a full squad, 11 players, six rares for this SBC. And for these other ones, you only have to turn in like five or six players for the pace or for the dribbling. But if you do 82 plus passing, there's only like three pages of players in this game that have 82 plus passing. It's actually a pretty rare stat in FIFA for rare golds. And if you add in a few of the promo cards from the Adidas promo and a few of the informs, you know, this one is the best bang for your buck technically because a lot of times you're getting boards, you're getting 83s, 84s. You know, there's a decent amount of fodder that you're getting for this like Tony Cruz, Verratti, I've seen people pack, Parejo. Uh, so this is one that it's harder to pack. Like you can't pack Mbappe from the 82 pa plus passing guaranteed Maybe on Wednesday, if he gets an inform, if that inform gets plus two passing, because he has 80 passing at the moment, so you can't pack him, but you can still pack Messi, you can still pack Ronaldo, you can still pack Kevin De Bruyne, you can still pack Neymar, inform, or his gold card, Hyunmin's son, you can still pack, of course. You can't pack Sadio Mane, uh, or you know some of those other higher tier cards. There's a few of them that you can't pack. Uh, like Conte has 75 passing as well. You can't get him out of this, but you can get a lot of great fodder from the 82 plus. So it's almost worth your worth your value in terms of the fodder that you should get back. It's actually kind of easy to use this to craft SBCs if your pack weight is on. You can pack like four or five different Adidas cards that are high rated like Hummels, Reyna is very easily packed from this. A couple of people have shouted Di Maria, Deli Ali's able to be packed. Declan Rice, I've seen people pack Fabian, Diawara. So this one gives out really well. But it doesn't give out the most elite top tier cards, like uh, especially from like the Adidas promo. Like you can't get Felix, you can't get Jota, you can't get Militao, uh, you can't get. There's one more. You, I don't. I don't think you can get. Um, I think I named all the biggest ones to be honest. Uh, out of the Adidas promo because you can't get Felix, yes, Militao or Jota. So you can't get any of the big three. But if you go to the 82 plus dribbling guaranteed. There's still a lot of like lower tier, like just regular, uh, like 78 or 79 or 81 rated gold cards that you can get from this, but there's a lot more top tier, right? You can pack all the Mbappe, Messi, Neymar, Ronaldo, all those guys, of course. You can pack Felix, you can pack Jota, you can pack like the main top tier cards that are in the promo team and the team of the week as well from this one. And the, the where the, the real value comes in with this is it's only... Uh, it's only two rares and it's, you know, just the five players that you have to turn in for this. Like my club, I have no non-rares at the moment because my club is like pretty bare because I've really sent my non-rares and a few of my rares into these packs. You know, they're really interesting and we talked about it on, on the stream as well. One thing that might be really interesting with these is if you're stacking or if you want to stack some of these and save them for future promos, the 82 plus passing guaranteed pack could be incredibly OP later on during team of the year when we have promos in the next couple of weeks. Because again, since there are so few cards on this game that have 82 plus passing, I know the number of those cards for like informs and stuff is going to go up, but in packs at any certain time, you're still only going to have those that small number of gold cards. And then when you come around with team of the year, the whole entire team should have 82 plus 
plus passing guarantee. So I don't know if we're ever going to see these packs re-released because this is such a specific part of the Adidas promo. So if you wanted to stack some of these, and if you're if you're starting to hold packs for Team of the Year already, more power to you. I, I really could not do that. Uh, but this could be a pack that could be really, really overpowered when we get to that time frame um, just because of the small player pool that it chooses from. So I know that this right now is draining some coins off the market because um, people are going out and they're buying cards for this. I believe non-rares. If we take a look, gold commons, let's go from, I like checking the second or third, uh, you know, most popular leagues, not the prem because everybody goes for the prem. I think gold commons are like 600 coins insta or maybe like 550, at least they were 550 earlier yesterday. Yeah, 550 Insta for gold commons right now, which means that these are definitely up like 300 coins a piece uh, or 200 coins a piece. So I would expect these to rise a little bit more since there's nothing else to do in this game. People are going to be doing these upgrade packs and that will start to take its toll on the market a little bit. Again, I don't think you're going to see any huge market craziness today on Tuesday. Even if we have like no content, maybe it's just a player SBC or one of those pack SBCs, I wouldn't expect too much today on Tuesday unless EA have a surprise for us. But it feels like EA is kind of pulling back the content as we thought that they maybe would after how this stuff has been going this weekend. But I just wanna talk about these upgrade packs and talk about the market again. As a lot of stuff has really gone up in price, especially those OTW cards, if you're holding on to one of those, like if you bought into an Upa Meccano, or maybe you bought into a Lukaku who is flying in price at the moment ahead of their potential upgrade, you know, you could probably keep holding on to these cards. The only real reason that these cards would drop heading closer into their game times uh, would be if there's any sort of crazy content that is released. And if there's ever a time to risk it, I mean, you look at right now, wow, somebody just mass listed a ton of these. Look, look at these. Look at all these Lukaku's that were just listed. Pages. Pages all in the same time, and they're all zero games played for their current club. That's somebody that's mass listing a ton of Lukaku's right now, which is crazy. I mean, that just goes to show you that right now on this game, these these ones to watches are so invested in at the moment, which uh, unless you got in early, you're just going to be quick flipping with them because they're really rare cards and they still will fluctuate. So just be careful with those. But that is, again, another reason why I think you could see drops in price when we have periods of panic. So watch out for that, of course. I think I spoke enough about that. You kind of get the gist of what I'm saying uh, with those cards. But really curious what's going to happen today on Tuesday. Last week on Tuesday, we had the 81 to 86 preview pack. Yesterday in the store, it was really a, a, a poor set of, of packs. It was a 15K pack and a 25, and they are going to expire today on Tuesday. So we'll see if they re-up this. But yeah, man, right now, prices are up. So again, EA is giving you ample opportunities. And I know it seems like, Nate, when is the panic ever going to start? But it is going to be coming soon. Trust me, right? People are going to panic sell for Black Friday because they know the power of the supply on this game. And more and more people are starting to talk about what Black Friday could look like on this game and how the prices could crash insanely because again it feels like we had a hype week ea's pulling back they're going to return with those preview packs they're going to return with the hype for black friday i know that they are so right now it's the calm before the storm once again and we're seeing that and sensing that on the market with how things are moving so that's the video for today boys if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it has been native foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out